Welcome to Ridge Life. I'm Tim, and today we're going to do a review of some Smith sharpeners. If you're not familiar with the Smith brand, they make wonderful sharpeners. I've used them for years, and today we've got two new products, at least new to me products, that I think you're going to enjoy. The first is Smith's Pocket Pal. This is good to just put in your pocket, keep in your uh, tractor or your ATV side-by-side -side pickup truck, and it has all kinds of cool features. We'll show you that one shortly. The one I'm really excited about is the adjustable angle all-purpose sharpening tool. This thing, you can adjust the angle, and again, you can do coarse, serrated, fine. You've got a good handle for good stability. I think you're really going to like this as well. So we'll start the unboxing. I'm going to take this old buck knife here. Buck knife's got a serrated edge on it. I've just abused this thing. We're going to use it to open the package here. Again, this is the uh, adjustable angle. Get this thing open and out here. Awesome. Okay. Love the looks of that. That looks so good. All right. We'll set that off to the side. And a few features of this thing I want to make sure I talk about. It's a pull-through knife sharpener. It um, sharpens straight and serrated blades. It's adjustable to match the knife. So it has uh, preset numbers, and of course it has ranges in between. And it gives you uh, like uh, the kitchen and sport. And of course you can choose whichever angle you like, but it has a little dial to help you figure that out. Um, and the instructions on the back, and it's real, real simple. So we'll show you that here in just a second. Really like the feel of this sharpener. It's got rubber stoppers on the bottom so when you set it down it stays where where you where you plant it it's a rubberized handle that feels really good rubberized handle it has arrows right here that shows you the arrow you pull through and of course here's your dial that sets the angle and red is for the kitchen and gray is for the sport and you can see optimally for sport 22 degrees optimally for kitchen is 18 and it's a uh, separate separated out into 14 16 18 22 and 24 degrees and it's just a push down turn let go push down turn let go so fully adjustable pretty nice so for a fillet knife you're going to want to use 16 degrees that's the typical angle for that kitchen knives asian style kitchen knives that's a 16 degree also for uh, american and euro kitchen knives we, we think about 20 degrees general pocket knife is about 20 degrees also a hunting knife is about 22 degrees and tactical knives are also about 22 degrees if you have a specific knife, you want to know what angle you should use, you can visit smithproducts.com and they'll reference the angle for the knife you have. We have several knives we're going to sharpen today. Here's the old buck pocket knife and it has a serrated portion, so we'll test out the serrated edge portion. I've got a Smith & Wesson M&P tactical knife and uh, this one here, woo, it's a, qu a quick assist. Uh, and it's got a nice tactical edge. We'll try that one. And of course we have paring knife. This is a butchering kit, so we have a butcher knife, and you can see I've messed this thing up on bones, so it has a lot of issues we need to overcome. So lots of cool knives here that we're going to play with and uh, see how these sharpeners work. Now let's unbox our pocket pal. We'll get that out. Going to use this old buck knife here, and I'll go over some of the features of it. Get this out of the packaging here. I've had one of these before. And uh, so I really wanted two of them, so I bought another one. And I'm going to keep one on the Kubota, and I've got one in my hunting backpack. So always nice to have something to sharpen whenever you're out in the field or out, you know, uh, working. Uh, and you're going to keep your blade sharp. So this thing is really nice. Now the, the Smith Pocket Pal has this tapered rod here. That's really good for doing serrated blades. So you can get, get that proper angle on the serrated blade. And then, of course, it has coarse and fine sharpening blades. Now the coarse blades here are reversible and replaceable and the fine are just replaceable. The coarse are carbide blades and the fine are ceramic. On the adjustable angle smiths we have a fine ceramic uh, stones and then we have carbide for the coarse and the serrated. And the serrated actually has uh, the dual uh, stone side where you can pull through uh, just like you do with your course. Okay. Well, take your pocket knife and you want to apply it right to the uh, smooth portion on the course and you want to point the tip down just a little bit and as you bring it back you'll, you'll bring up the back and point down the front to keep that going through smoothly through the blades, through the sharpener. And 
You'll do it at eight, about eight times, keeping smooth pressure, even speed as it goes through. And it's roughing. It just it roughs up the uh, the blade. Okay. And that should take take off a lot of the the scratches and the gouges out of it. And you want to do it until those gouges are out, and you get a smooth blade. And this one this one had okay. There you go. And you start to smooth out. Okay. Now we take it through the fine. Again, I want to get it right. Oh yeah, that's smooth. Again, eight to ten. And depending on how, if you have a really hardened steel, you may want to do a little bit more. It takes a little bit more to sharpen it. And if it's a softer steel, it won't take that much. Again, we're going to go about eight or ten. And that should put a really nice edge on there. Now for the serrated portion, which is the center section, I'm going to put it on here. And it's the same method. I'm going to angle it down just a little bit, keep it straight up and down. I'm just going to, as it goes through, let it rise and fall. That's it. Just do the same thing. One, two, three, and it goes through. You just keep doing that eight or ten times, even pressure, and that will sharpen your serrated blade. Now the same feature on our pocket pal, we've got the course. Again, point it down just a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, and you can go see all the way up to eight. And then you can put it through the fine. One, oh, that's smooth. Two, three, four, five, six, and all the way up, you know, eight. And then again, that gives you that nice sharp edge. Okay, so now let's move on. We've got our tactical. Now for tactical, we're gonna be about 22 degrees. So we're gonna dial it up to 22 degrees for tactical. Again, I got set for 22. Again, this knife, this has got a few gouges in it. So we will go through the course. So we'll bring it through the course. Again, point down a little bit. Oh yeah, you can hear that, yeah. You can hear, you can hear some of that. There we go. It's just gonna clean that. Oh yeah, I can hear you can hear it cleaning it up. Once it gets all those um, gouges out, it just it sounds like a smooth line going through it. Again, bring the tip down as you go through, otherwise you're gonna bottom out on the plastic there. Okay, now we'll move it over to the fine, and I can just you can just hear it sharpening it. It's really, really nice. Okay, and then now, oh yeah, sharp, sharp edge. As that is really nice on our Smith & Wesson m and Tactical. Now for this kitchen knife, I'm gonna take the angle back down to a 16. There we go, got 16 for kitchen. And uh, this thing is, is butchered up. It's a butcher knife, it's butchered up, okay? So we need to get all that out of there. I, I've, I've whacked bones and stuff with venison you know, on this, so let's get all of it, oh, let's gotta get all that off there. Get all that off there until it smooths it out. And I'm probably going to do more than eight with this because it is chopped up pretty good. You can see the metal fine, metal fines coming off of this as it sharpens it. But just keep going through until all of that coarseness is gone. And it's starting to come out. It's coming, it's starting to come out. And then once you get it out of there, then you're going to start to bring it through the fine. And you can do this with your whole kitchen set, right? Your butchering set, your kitchen set. And I can already see um, that has that has done a great job. I got a few more of the. I need to go through with the course. I won't make you wait through that, but that really worked with the, uh, the butcher there. Okay, now here's a, a hunting knife. Um, and again, this isn't my butchering set, but this is this is a really a hunting knife. You can see the gutting and nut right there. And then we have a paring knife. Okay, the paring knife. Um, again, the, the angle we're going to use is kitchen. So, oh, well, that this one's this one's not too bad. You can you can, you can just hear. How a knife sounds going through a sharpener. You can just hear it. That was not too bad. So once I, I'm just going to do that a few times. Now we'll go through the fine. Oh yeah, you can just hear a sharpness. It's just pretty amazing how you can hear a sharpness. Now a lot of people may disagree on the angles. I'm going by Smith's recommendations for angles, and you may define what your knife's purpose is differently, and uh, based on the purpose, right? Not necessarily how you purchase it. Uh, it's just it's the purpose you're using the knife for. That's the type of blade, the angle, the, the, the angle of that edge you want. You know, we're really, really sharp um, at a fine angle. It's not going to last very long. Um, a little bit more of a blunt angle, 
uh, with a decent sharpness is going to be a, a lot more rugged and durable. Again, so keep going through here. And this little paring knife, oh yeah, perfect for just getting everything you need really, really fine. So that, that, that did awesome. So I really, really like Smith sharpeners. They, they really do the job. Again, here's the serrated portion for this. And I can just go through the serrated portion. I really like this, uh, this better for serration. And again, I can just go back and forth like that. See, on this one, it's not angled on this side for serration. It's angled on one side. So that's why I really like this here, because I can, I can using this tapered rod here, I can get exactly where I want, how I want on that blade. So really like this little pocket pal. So hopefully you uh, enjoyed checking out our Smith sharpeners. Um, they're really, really handy to have around because a dull knife, if you've seen me any of my chicken butchering or the venison uh, uh, butchering, uh, I haven't sharpened my knives the way I should. So I got these now and I'm really going to do a better job of keeping my knives sharp and they make the job so much easier when you have a sharp knife. So I will put a link to both of these on our in the description of this video. And of course, we'll add it to our Amazon storefront. You can uh, click on the link from the description of this video or go straight to our Amazon storefront. It is www.amazon.com slash shop slash Ridgelife. And you can see all the products we use here on, on the Ridgelife uh, YouTube channel. And if you want to just shop from Amazon from our storefront, it helps out Ridge Life. And it's no extra cost to you. We don't, we, you know, you're, the price for the items you purchase on YouTube does not go up when you purchase anything from our links or our storefront. Whoo, it sure is a hot one today. I uh, appreciate y'all sticking around and watching us demonstrate these Smith sharpeners. I really like these products. If you can, subscribe to our channel. If you like what you see, hit that thumbs up button. Notification bell will ensure that you are notified anytime a new video comes out. We put all kinds of videos out here from Ridge Life. Uh, we've got uh, tractors, chickens, log home building, uh, fishing, trapping, hunting, uh, just all kinds of cool stuff. So uh, if you want to just Make sure you hit that notification bell and you'll get to see everything that comes out new. So until next time, I hope everyone has a blessed day and go Ridge Life.